everybody, this is Arlene from Twins and Teaching on Teachers Pay Teachers. Today I'm going to show you how to start a cover for your product for Teachers Pay Teachers using Canva. So if you go to the Canva website and you click on, in the right hand corner, you'll see there's Create Design. Um, and you don't necessarily need the pro version to do this. You um, can upgrade if you want to have the additional fonts and images and so forth, but you can definitely start with the free version. So you can go to, you're gonna need 800 by 800 pixels for a Teachers Pay Teachers product cover. Um, and this gives you a perfect square. Um, and then you're going to take a look at the left-hand side here. And this is all of the elements and all of the icons that you'll need to create your cover. They do offer templates here if you're interested in using a template to start, um, or you can make your own template. So, which I can show you how to do. So first you're going to, at least I first insert my text. So you'll click text on the left-hand side. I'm gonna add a heading. And they give you different options on the bottom there if you are interested in trying one of their um, special fonts. But So I'm going to say here that this is going to be um, my Italian foods lesson. Okay, so if you notice here, the font has already been chosen for you, but you can change that. So up here, kind of similar to Microsoft products, there's a drop down for different fonts. Um, if you have the Pro, you'll see that these ones with the crown, you can only use with Pro. So I'm going to change it to Intro Rust. Um, and it looks like I'm going to have to highlight the whole thing. And then you can go to this line spacing option here, which is really nice. And you can minimize that spacing. Um, and then you can go over to the left and go to your elements. Um, and if you have a logo, you can upload your logo. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go to uploads logo. So this is my logo. I'm gonna insert it on all of my covers so that it's recognizable. Um, now, if you notice on uploads, you're going to want to upload one of your images of your product, probably. So you can go to upload media and most of my images are on my device. Um, so I'm going to grab a picture of the product. Um, and I actually have mine saved in, in Canva already, but let me see if I can find something here. Okay, it's gonna take me too long. So if I'm gonna to go to uploads, these are all of the things that I've already uploaded. So once you upload something, it saves for you in Canva. Um, so I'm going to choose, this is actually Spanish, <laughs> Foods of Spain. Let's change that. Okay, so if you notice, it kind of blends in with the white, it doesn't really stand out. So if you go to elements and you click on frame, you'll notice that there's all sorts of options for different frames that you could use to help your image stand out. So since this is an online lesson, I'm gonna choose the laptop and then I could drag my image right into the laptop. And you can insert that right there. You could do multiple images if you want. Um, if you don't like that image, you can delete it. You can go back to your uploads and you can choose something else. So I'm going to do that. Um, if you notice my, my logo now is in the back, so you're going to click on it and you could go to position. So you can move things back, forth in different positions, which is really nice and easy to use. Okay. So we have our Spanish foods image. This is, I think, the only one I'm going to use. You can enlarge the text by dragging to the left or dragging the corners out. Now, a background. We're going to need some sort of background. So you can either choose a color. Okay. And notice this kind of doesn't pop out. So I'm going to insert a rectangle in a minute with white um, to make this kind of separate from the image. Um, if you want to learn more, you can go to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. It's called Twins and Teaching. And I have a Canva, Canva tutorial for teacher sellers. Um, and it's actually a growing 